Hi, welcome back to Kinetics and Mechanisms on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tilkoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. So we have a question here. The rate constant for this second order reaction is 0 0.780 inverse molar inverse second at 300 degrees Celsius. How long in seconds would it take for the concentration of A to decrease from 0.6A molar to 0.22 molar? All right, so I'm going to do this video in two parts, okay? Um, the first part of this, I'm going to solve this as if you're taking physical chemistry, okay? Which means I'm going to start from the rate law, and then I'm going to get the integrated rate law, okay? I will mention at the very beginning of the video, if you're not in physical chemistry and you're just looking for how to solve this, which time in the video to skip to, all right? So just understand there is that factor. All right, so this is a second order reaction with only A. So that means I know that the rate of change of A so for A, the rate of change of A with respect to time is equal to negative and certainly I'm going to have the rate constant in here and since this is second order with respect to A, this is going to be A squared. All right. Rearranging this equation, I'm going to get 1 over concentration of A squared dA is equal to negative K dt. This is a this is a separable differential equation, so I'm going to integrate both sides. This is going to be from time 1 to time 2. This is going to be from A1 to A2, where A1 is the initial concentration and T1 is the initial time at which we have that concentration. I'm also going to rewrite the left side of this separable differential equation because I prefer to express these as a to the minus 2 power dA from a1 to a2. Let's go ahead and solve this. So if I integrate this, I'm going to have 1 over a1, that's the integral, because if I increase this power by 1, I'm going to have a to the minus 1, and then I have to divide by that power, so this is going to be divided by negative 1, so I have to throw a negative sign out in front of here. And that's going to be evaluated from a1 to a2 is equal to minus k times t2 minus t1. That's just the fundamental theorem of calculus. Notice I can ultimately get rid of these negative signs because they're on both sides of the equation. So what am I ultimately left with here? Well, when I, I evaluate this side, it's going to be 1 over concentration of A2 minus 1 over the concentration of A1 is equal to K times T2 minus T1. All right. So how long in, se in seconds would it take for the concentration of A to decrease from 0.68 molar to 0.22 molar? Well, one of the simplifying assumptions I'm going to make is that time one is equal to zero, which means that this whole quantity right here, because time one is equal to zero, I'm just looking for a difference in time, but if time one is equal to zero, I'm just going to say this is delta t. Okay, if time one zero, I don't care what the initial time is, it's going to be the same time vector to get from t1 to t2. All right. What is my concentration of A2? That's my final concentration, that's 0 0.220 molar. So this is going to be 1 over 0 0.220 molar. All right, now is where we're going to actually start solving the problem no matter what course you're in. Okay, I have this expression right here. This is one form of the integrated rate law for a second order reaction. I'm going to plug in numbers, remembering that this, because this I'm going to this concentration, this is concentration of A2. This one is my initial, that's concentration of A1. So I'm going to plug in numbers. 1 over the concentration of A2, concentration of A2 is 0 0.220 molar, minus 1 over A1 is 0 0.680 molar, and that's equal to, and I have this rate constant, 0 0.780 inverse molar inverse second multiplied by delta t. All right, so hopefully that makes sense thus far. I'm going to start plugging in numbers. So 1 divided by 0 
And then I, if I subtract off of that, 1 divided by 0.68, I get a number over here. This is 3.07, we'll say 5. And that's going to be inverse molar is equal to 0 0.780 inverse molar inverse second time delta t. I'm going to divide through by this over here. So this is going to become 3.075 inverse molar divided by 0 0.780 inverse molar inverse seconds is equal to delta t. I notice that inverse molar cancels, and so if I have one over inverse seconds, that's the same as seconds, and sure enough, that's the units I'm looking for for time. So let's figure out what this is. So 3.075 divided by 0 0.780, and I get that this is about equal to, we'll say approximately equal to 3.94 seconds. 3.94 seconds, and that's the time it takes ultimately to decay from 0.68 molar to 0.220 molar for a second order reaction. All right, so if you're watching this, again, not in the context of physical chemistry, ignore all this integral stuff, but the main formula that you would need to know, or at least be able to understand is this formula right here. This is for a second order reaction. In the next video, we're gonna do the same thing for a first order reaction. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.